what is going on Nitro Sites? It is your boy the Nitro General here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the NPBA week three of the NPBA against the Vancouver Kyogres and coach TNA Lynch. If you guys are excited for this and you want to show some support, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new. Help me hit my end of the year goal, which is like, I think we're going to try to hit aim for like 300 subscribers. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do it or not, uh, but but yeah. So if you guys want to help out by supporting, you can leave a like on this video, uh, subscribe if you guys are new, share this video with your friends, but of course... Obviously, as I say in every video, you know, the biggest thing that would help is if you guys watch this video in its entirety. I know there is, uh, you know, a timestamp here uh, that would tell you when the battle starts, but I'd really appreciate it if you guys would actually watch the um, battle, the pregame press conference and everything, you know. Really helps out the channel a lot. But, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So, TNA Lynch, who has probably one of the coolest um like team emblems i've ever seen that like kyogre thing with the primal kyogre is absolutely dope so shout out to him i don't know if he made that or if he had that made or whatever but it's dope so i just wanted to say that but he's got a really really threatening team uh currently we are coming off of of a win the one of the craziest battles i've ever done in draft league history on week two coming out and beating the number one team in the league and uh, I'm coming out the, I'm coming out pretty hot. I'm, I'm not going to try to be too cocky because obviously we could easily lose this one. TNA is a good battler. I do believe we fought him twice. Last season we beat him and then the season before that uh, he beat us. Or was it the season before that? I think it was. Yes. Because he played in the National Dex one uh, and swept us with the Mega Blastoise. So uh, Shell Smash Water Spell. So we're not going to talk about that. But uh, yeah, so we've... We're kind of one and one, so he he's a good battler, and we he, he has a chance to win this. I have a chance to win this. Let's just get right into the team that he has. So his team consists of Garchomp, Grimmsnarl, Charizard, Hisuian Arcanine, Bisharp, Toxtricity, Haiki, uh, Iron Leaves, Gyarados, Wigglytuff, Cryogonal, and uh, 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 Whizcash. So, honestly, his two terror captains are Charizard, who can terrestrialize into a fire, an electric, and a dragon type, or, and Toxtricity, who can terrestrialize into an electric, normal, or flying type. Obviously, normal, um, for the boom burst, right? That's absolutely terrifying. Um, fire, I'm not totally sure why he terrestrialize, that, why he wants to terrestrialize into a fire type with Toxtricity. Um, especially when he has two other fire types, it doesn't really make sense too much. Uh, or actually, no, I was looking at Charizard. What is going on? Uh, electric, obviously, and then flying, I think it's just to get rid of its ground immunity. Uh, Charizard, fire, electric, and dragon. Um, not totally sure why electric, probably just because if a water type comes in on it. Um, and then dragon, I'm not totally sure why when he has Garchomp. Maybe in a regular battle situation, I'd try to slice into a dragon type, but I feel like water or grass would probably be the best one for this thing. But, uh, yeah, so he, he does have Terra Electric. So, uh, Garchomp is scary. It can be, it can be Scarf Chomp. It could be Tank Chomp as well. Um... Uh, it can go for an Outrage. It does not have currently have access to Scale Shot. Uh, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, um, a lot of really, really cool stuff. Uh, Grim Snarl, which is probably coming just because we have a lot of heavy hitters, uh, does get access to Reflect and Light Screen. And it does get access to Prankster, which means that instead of trying to prevent him to get up screens this week, I'm going to have to try to play around the screens, right? I'm not going to try to prevent it. I'm not going to try to get rid of them. What I want to do is just play around them because it's pretty much inevitable that he's getting this thing up getting screens up and if he runs focus sash he can get them both up with no with no consequences as well as he could be light clay um he could be prankster thunder wave parting shot uh spirit break bulk up like he gets all that kind of stuff so we do have to be worried about that crunch um but yeah hasuian arcanine is incredibly scary i mean head smash with um uh, Rockhead is incredibly scary. I mean, that thing hits like an absolute truck and is, is definitely something we have to be really scared about. Now, our Tier 1 and our, our Tier 2, Basket Legion and Great Tusk both beat this thing 1v1, but, uh, you know, there's still, I don't even know, 
if Great Tusk wants to take a Choice Band Max Attack Adamant Head Smash from Arcanine. I don't know. Possibly, but uh, he, he definitely doesn't like it um, as well. But we have shown that we can run Max Defense on uh, Great Tusk. So if he decides that uh, he wants to do that, he would he'd be running the risk that we run Max uh, Max Attack, right? So then we have Bisharp. Uh, Bisharp is actually sucks because this Pokemon it was sniped for me last season and this season. I want Bisharp so goddamn bad, and two seasons in a row this thing was sniped for me. So uh, TNA, he, was sni he sniped two Pokemon for me actually. This in this league, uh, he sniped uh, Bisharp and Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves was one that I was looking at uh, getting. So, but uh, I think I ended up getting. I can't remember. Somebody else. Uh, um, uh, another tier two. I can't remember. Maybe it wasn't. Was it Galarian Moultrie said I went with instead of it? I, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, it can be incredibly scary. Uh, Eviolite makes it incredibly bulky. Even if we hit it with a close combat, if it's Eviolite, uh, max defense, or even Eviolite max HP, it still tanks one, um, as well as a headlong rush. Uh, it gets access to bulk up. Um, we do have to be careful because it does get access to Defiant. So if we bring out any of our Intimidate Mons, we have to worry about, you know, that. Because that can be pretty scary. Um, now we have Toxtricity here. Like I said, obviously Terra Normal Boom Burst can be incredibly, incredibly terrifying. Uh, as well as it can have sludge bomb punk rock it could even be boom burst with the throat spray which is a really really good um tech so he could bring that uh then we have iron leaves which could which is is, is fairly scary i mean obviously it gets access to side blade it gets access to leaf blade um does it get close combat or is it just sacred sword i can't remember uh, but it gets access to a lot of different stuff. I don't think that thing is coming. Uh, Gyarados can be incredibly scary. Obviously, Dragon Dance. Um, obviously, uh, Ice Fang. Uh, you know, uh, Waterfall. Uh, the thing gets access to, like, what? Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Earthquake. Um, just, yeah, it can be incredibly scary. It could also be Moxie, too. So we have to worry about that if it's not Intimidate. Uh, I do think it's Intimidate. It would be Intimidate. But, uh, yeah. He's got Whizcash that also gets Dragon Edge. Um, I mean, and I had a lot of success with, you know, cash money back in uh, BDSP. So I know how threatening that thing can be uh, from time to time. I don't really think I'm that worried about it, but it could come. We got Wigglytuff here. Uh, Wigglytuff is his only fairy type. Does get access to screens as well. As like uh, a Disarming Voice. Um stuff like that i don't think this that thing's coming it does get access to wish protect but they cannot be run consecutively uh he's got charizard or uh, which i already said which get access to like fire blast um also gets access to dragon dance he's got three dragon dance mods four dragon dance mods god damn tna what is with you in dragon dance god damn <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong i love dragon types too but in in a draft league mm -hmm. Uh, so it's like, he's got Dragon, he could be Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, Dragon Claw, uh, he gets access to, I think, like, Drain Punch as well, uh, does get access to Earthquake, um, does get access to Focus Blast, Heat Wave, um, all that kind of stuff, and then Cryogonal, which is, honestly is a really good tier 4, uh, should have been something that I looked into, to be honest with you, but I took Glaceon instead, but, uh, Cryogonal could, uh, could be a lot of really, really, um, really cool things, so... It could be Ice Beam, it gets Flash Cannon, uh, Recover, uh, a lot of different stuff. But yeah, that's his team, guys. A lot of big threats. If I had to pick ones that I think were coming, I'd say Grimmsnarl, Garchomp, Arcanine, um, probably Toxtricity, uh, Gyarados, and either Krognal or Bisharp, probably. I don't think he brings Charizard. Um, I don't think he brings Wigglytuff at all. I highly doubt he brings the Whizcash. Highly doubt he brings the Iron Leaves. But um, all of these are very, very good threats. But let's get right into the team that I'm bringing. All right, guys. So this is the team that I'm bringing for week three of the MPBA against TNA and coach of the Vancouver Kai Ogres. So we are bringing a couple people off the bench. We are bringing a couple Mons off the bench. We are bringing... First up is Rapture. 
the bright touch. I mean, obviously, got to bring it. We are bringing Life Orb this week. I didn't want to be locked into anything. Uh, we're going with Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Ice Spinner, and Stone Edge. So, um, I, Headlong Rush is basically there because it hits so many of his Pokemon, right? It hits uh, Arcanine, it hits Bisharp, it hits Toxtricity. Um, you know, a lot of Grimmsnarl is not going to like it, uh, so neither is Wigglytuff. Uh, close combat is close combat is there is because it hits Bisharp for super effective four times super effective as well as it hits Cragnall and if it's not max HP and not max I think it's probably max HP or max defense uh, with max attack but uh, it, it could have a chance to Oko it but I, I highly doubt it um, and then we're running Ice Spinner for Garchomp too just in case it wants to come in we want, I want something to be able to hit that and Stone Edge is there um, specifically for the Charizard because if we don't have because if he does bring the Charizard for some reason he can easily come in and uh, he threatened me with an Air Slash and I don't want him to be able to do that so I have Stone Edge just in case as well as it does hit Cryogonal for super effective but uh, I'm obviously if we have the chance we're going for close combat against it so because it's stronger and stab but uh, we're running max HP and max attack remaining four in speed not really looking for sp uh, speed this week too much um, as well as I just want this thing to be slightly bulky and be able to you know go really hard here and um, attack so yeah uh, the next one up on this list guys is choppers coming back with it is choice band again with U-turn excessor stone axe and close combat um, basically, U turn is there just for U turn priority. Also hits uh, Iron Leaves for four times effective. Uh, X Scissor hits uh, Grimmsnarl for super effective, um, as well as four times effective against uh, Iron Leaves, as well as it hits a lot of things. Uh, Stone Axe hits Charizard, hits Gyarados, hits pretty much everything. The only things that would want to take it are probably uh, Whizcash. Um, Garchomp, I, just, I don't even know if Garchomp would. Uh, Arcanine, Bishar, possibly Iron Leaves. Uh, Close Combat is there for, obviously is there for the Arcanine, is there for the Bishar, is there for the Cryagonal. Um, and this thing is just to come in and hit really hard. Sharpness boosts everything on here, or it really boosts just Stone Axe and Axe, so half of what's on here. We're running a max speed and max attack nature with a jolly attack because uh, this will allow us to outspeed uh, non Dragon Dance Gyarados. Um, it will allow us to outspeed uh, a lot of stuff on his team. It does let us outspeed if he's not really speed investing a lot of his mons, but uh, yeah. And then Natasha is obviously coming back. We are running Terra Fairy this week with Expert Belt, Trace, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, Heal Pulse, and Destiny Bond. Uh, this outspeeds with a Timid Nature, where max special attack and max speed. With a Timid Nature, we outspeed a lot. A lot of stuff on his team, right? And if I can trace something like Gyarados' Moxie, that might be kind of cool. Or like... I don't know. If we could trace Garchomp's Prankster... And then get like a Prankster Heal Pulse or Prankster Destiny Bond would be really cool. But uh, Thunderbolt is there for Garchomp, is there for Charizard. Um, and then Moonblast obviously is there for Garchomp. Also hits um, Grim Snarl for super effective as well. And then like even like a Terra Dragon um, Charizard. So yeah. And then we have Ariel here with uh, Berserk. Obviously Leftovers, Fairy Wrath, Tailwind, Helping Hand to Protect. Um, we have max max HP, max special attack with the remaining four in speed, and we're running a timid nature this week. So even though we're not running a uh, a max modest nature, I wanted the speed just so we can outspeed a uh, uh, Bisharp. We can outspeed um, not toxicity. We can outspeed a lot of stuff again with with this uh, the 238 speed. We outspeed quite a bit, right? And I really specifically wanted to outspeed uh, the Garchomp. But there really isn't any way we do that without running a different nature. And uh, but I, but I really really like this set. I want to get Tailwind set up. Fiery Wrath hits a lot of stuff too. Um, really only hits Iron Leaves for super effective, but can hit everything else for almost unresisted except for Wigglytuff and Grimmsnarl and uh, Bisharp. So and Helping Hand is there. It's more of a support this week as well as protect, just in case you know he does decide that he wants the Thunderbolt from uh, Toxicity. Or, you know, Thunderbolt with Gyarados or something like that. Uh, Elsa is specifically here for the Garchomp. But we're running Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, Water Pulse, and Wish with Choice Specs. Um, I'm running Water Pulse strictly for the um, for the Arcanine. Because with Choice Specs, we we, out, we kill it, right? We kill it. 
Uh, as well as it hits Jarzard for super effective. Um, Freeze Dry hits Garchomp for super effective and knocks it out. Uh, Ice Beam uh, for all, as well as uh, hits Whiskash for four times effective. Otherwise, Ice Beam hits everything else for, for more damage. Freeze Dry also super uh, four times effective on Gyarados. So I really, really wanted to bring this thing because I think Elsa will be really, really good. We are running max HP and max special attack with a modest nature. I do want the most special attack because I can out of this thing. Base 130 is crazy. Almost a 400 special attack stat is nuts. Be able to hit a lot of this stuff. So, And the last one, guys, is Injection here. Black Sludge, Intimidate, Poison Jab, Sword Stance, Taunt, and Liquidation. Uh, if I can get off a of Sword Stance, that would be great. I really do have Taunt just in just for like any pokemon that do want to set up poison jab is there for grim snarl is there for wigglytuff um and liquidation is there for charizard is there for um arcanine is there for that's it really it but uh yeah so we're running max hp max attack with the remaining four uh in speed so we have elsa injection that we're taking off the bench uh i think this is a really good team probably could have built it a little bit better i'm not gonna lie i built this days ago so i know i built some of these mods specifically for something but i can't remember what it was at the time so hopefully we can come out with a win but uh yeah guys i'll see you guys in the battle okay guys so here we are in the battle unfortunately i have to do a uh a, a post battle commentary because unfortunately i did not uh record the battle by accident uh i did do the battle and then i unfortunately never pressed record so uh but yeah so i just want to say before we really get into this uh you know what I, i'm gonna wait till the battle's over before before i talk about this so he did bring iron leaves which i didn't think he was gonna bring uh and but i pretty much expected everything else right uh, he did bring garchomp he did bring arcanine he did bring gyarados toxicity and uh bisharp so if i remember right since i did this battle uh a little bit ago i led with uh, let's just see what yeah, so we led Cleavor and we lead, we led Gardevoir. There was no Gar Grimmsnarl, which I was really could not believe. So he leads with Gar Gyarados and Iron Leaf, right? This is pretty much a perfect lead for us, right? We have Thunderbolt on Natasha and X Scissor on Cho uh, Chopper. And we have the Intimidate off for Iron Leaves. Plus, we outspeed both of these. So I decided to go for Thunderbolt and an X Scissor on Iron Leaves. Uh, which is great, and then he also is uh, Intimidate on Gyarados, but I still decided to go. He goes for a Swords Dance on Iron Leaves, which is so glad I didn't switch out Chomper here. And we get a Thunderbolt, and we KO both Mons first turn. So this is awesome, right? I am high right now, because I'm like, two, first two Mons KO'd first turn, perfect. Now he goes Garchomp and Toxtricity, right? Now, what I should have done here is I should have Moonblasted on the Garchomp, and I should have x scissored on the toxicity that's what i should have done but unfortunately i didn't and i switched out to great tusk because i wanted to get rid of the attack drop on chopper he then terra normals he protects with the garchomp and just straight up goes for the boom burst and almost kills both the mons on my team and we and we obviously moon blast into the t garchomp now he is 273 right there is a chance that we could have been faster, but we, we we were not faster with anything on our team. I should have just doubled into the Toxicity here, but he goes for a Protect. Uh, he switches out into Bisharp now. I switch into Glaceon. He Boom Burst, kills Natasha, and does so much to Elsa. I still can't outspeed with anything here. He now goes for a Boom Burst again. He kills Elsa. And I go for the close combat, knock out the Toxicity here. Which now we are both down two mons, right? But he can go for the Iron Head and get the KO on Chomper. So now I have three mons left. He decides to go into Garchomp. He is now faster than pretty much all of my mons. I get, I go for the uh, injection. And unfortunately, I give him the Defiant Boost, which really sucks. I go back into Moltres thinking that he's just going to try an Earthquake. He Dragon Claws on the Rapture instead. And he goes for an Iron Head on Ariel, which overdoes it. Now, I know at this point, because I am not, I don't think I'm faster than the, I could be faster than the Garchomp, right? But, unfortunately, we are down to two Mons. And I don't think I can beat the Arcanine with, with these Mons. I have to go back to Injection, give him a plus two boost here. I Protect on Ariel here. He goes for the Dragon Claw into Ariel. 
Unfortunately, almost KO's injection. I do KO the Bisharp here, but because of the fact that we are so close here, I tried to get a double protect here. Probably should have just attacked, but he just obviously is faster with the Arcanine here. Flare blitzes and knocks us out, and we ended up losing the battle too. Now, I think I played decent, but unfortunately the Toxtricity with Boom Burst really, really threw me off. I should have tried my best to, to play a little bit better in this situation, but I didn't. Should have prepped a little bit more for the Toxtricity Boom Burst than I did, and I didn't. I also, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I was coming off a 10 hour shift, going in for a 16 hour shift, with like four and a half hours of sleep, and the next day, I had another 10 hour shift to go into. I was so sleep deprived, I was so anxiety ridden for this battle, and unfortunately we couldn't get the battle done when I wanted to get it done earlier in the week when I actually had time to do it. So I had to try to fit it into this tiny little time slot that I had. And I was so anxiety ridden that I ended up losing the battle only because of the fact that I didn't, I, I wasn't all there. I couldn't give all my, <clears throat> all my attention to the battle, right? I built the team days before I did the battle and I kind of forgot what I built the team for in this situation. Also, coming off of the win from last week, I was a little cocky, being like, you know what? I beat the number one team in the league. There's no way I can lose this. Let me do this sleep-deprived on a 16-hour shift day. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to have all this energy for the rest of my shift, and I'm going to be happy. And unfortunately, I should have just... I should have played better. I should have built a better team. I should have played better. I should have calc more. I should have prepped more. And I didn't. It does put us at 2-1, though. We're still in a really, really, really good spot. And next week, we're against Nimblox, who has only beat us one single time in the doubles. In the, in, uh, uh, no, in the singles league. So, you know what? We're going to play to the best of our ability. We're going to have some fun. But, yeah. So, uh, that is going to be it for me, guys. I'm sorry we lost this battle after doing so well, uh, last week. But, yeah. So, but without further ado, guys, that is going to be it for me. So, like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Nitro General's out. Peace.